When it's all said and done, everybody has a legacy, right? We can talk about Dons, Lisa Leslie, Tina Thompson. And this could be a huge part of, of my legacy and Dee's. A veces en esta época de, del mundo que quiere todo el próximo día, quieren todo bien rápido, um, así el básquet así no, no funciona. Son diferentes épocas de, de tu carrera que mejorá y necesita la experiencia. Entonces, um, jugá con, con amor, con pasión y, y las cosas buenas pasan. probably need the most are your effort and your communication as we get through uh, kind of getting gelling quickly. Yes, God. I should be, I should, I should, I should, I should. We look at the first segment of the college tour that we went on with four games in seven days with some really good basketball teams. This is a trip that we just started this year. Uh, it allowed us to compete against four collegiate teams and not just any other collegiate team, but like big time collegiate team. It was something very special just to see the two worlds collide. In college, I didn't have that opportunity to compete against the national team, so it's huge to be just a part of something that you know this is going to be bigger later on down the road. kind of bridge that gap between the collegiate game and the professional game and it was kind of awesome to be out there and for us old heads to actually just be out there and play with like younger talent. Hey, I, love, I love the way you play. Bro. You play hard every time. Bro. We'll see you next in Texas a and Yeah! We had no time to spend uh, trying to gel and figure things out. We, we had to get going right away. So we had to respond to different things, and most of our learning happened in-game. The U.S. national team fourth and final tour date, leading the Oregon Ducks. Now it's coming down the shot clock. Donetsk, NBA 3. this jersey on nobody cares if you're a four-time Olympian or if it's your first time you know they're coming out and they're they're gonna give you your best shot Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of our, the local time is 10 you got to start somewhere so that that's what this fall tour was it was it was our starting point the goals actually probably changed from when this was all first being discussed to what actually ended up coming to fruition some of us myself included hadn't played basketball in a year. You know, we're coming off injuries. Some people were just coming off a long WNBA season, which can be tough. Some people um, had injuries that took them out completely, and some people were overseas. So things kind of, you know, shifted in terms of what the goals were. What's up? What's up? What is the day? Day? I don't even know the day. I don't know the... Is it Saturday? No, it's Friday, the 15th. Place yeah, okay, yeah, Friday the 15th. We don't know what day, what month, what year. What month, what year, what time. What time. But we're here, time to play basketball. <laughs> Coming in Argentina, the American style game with the colleges is very different than over here. Obviously the rules are different, but also the style of play. So it's been fun kind of transitioning from one to the other. I think at the end of it, you know, looking back now, um, I think what, what really was great about it for those of us that hadn't played in a while, we got to get on the court, you know, and, and we got to play with the jersey of USA on, play under that system. Even though Dawn's not here, we're still doing a lot of the same things that, that she um, put in, you know, even last year. I appreciate the group that we have. That's what's really special about USAB. Uh, the quality of the people. It's all about the journey, the people that you're on it with. We've grown a lot as a team uh, from those games, and so hopefully we just continue to go take it up a level. USAB! 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 USAB
Wednesday.